Hello everybody, I am Phenom Sage, and welcome to something that I didn't even plan to do today. I, I thought the voting for this was going to go up on the 22nd, but Crunchyroll has announced the Anime Awards nominations five days ahead of time. And just for this special occasion, I have with me here Fumencho. What is going on? And it is pronounced Fumincho. Oh, oh sorry, Fumi Fumincho. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, this is something I've, I mean, we've both been hyping this up for a little while now. I, I'm really excited to see how this goes down. Crunchyroll is now doing stuff outside of their platform, which is really exciting. They, they, did, it, they did it a tad last year, but definitely not to the degree I would have liked. But they had to alter that rule for this year because let's let's face it, they they missed out on a ton of great shows. So yeah, oh yeah. Um, um, but yeah, now we we got Ho Hosuki here. We have um, got this Magus no Hero, Attack on Book Titan. No Hero. Magus. Wait, yeah, let's just get into these. <laughs> let's go with these nominees. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll down with you. Should we do? Should we save anime of the year for last, or should yeah? Just let's do let's it? start from the bottom. I think like best villain. Let's just start there and then All move right. up from there. All okay. right, let's go. Ooh. All right, I'm loading up here. Oh, baby. Let's go. We we called a lot of these, too. Oh, I didn't call Tanya. Actually, no, did we? I'm pretty sure we did say Tanya, actually. Uh, I don't know. And nobody will know now uh, because we didn't pretend we didn't make a video on that. Yeah. Bond Rude. These... Oh, man. We were talking about this, too. We were talking about who we would vote for out of these categories. <sighs> This is actually kind of a tough one because I'm, I'm I'm flipping through. St I didn't watch Tanya, unfortunately. I didn't either. Ooh, th this is and really convenient. Up here at the top, you can scroll through like all the categories without having to go back. Oh, that's sweet. So we're just gonna go left, left then, right? Yeah, we'll go okay. left. Okay. So yeah, for this uh, one, I'm. I like I like that heroes there. I'm not I, gonna lie, I know that's that's a series that's that's crapped on, but like I like that he's there. I like that he's I mean, there he's too. definitely the most impactful. Like. For me, that, it's between good, it's between Stain and Bondrood, and Stain. I think I'm gonna go Stain. Stain didn't he didn't get the screen time, and I know you could say that about Bondrood as well. But with Stain, I just feel like his arc. That's one of my main complaints with season two is that they rushed past that that arc. So I'm definitely, going with definitely, an, I definitely feel you there, but. I, I'm a My Hero boy. I gotta go Stan. I know, I know. Stan's probably gonna be my pick there. And I, I really liked his, his design. I like his personality. And He's I like a how really, he... really cool character. I just don't think the story handled him well. Yeah, but I think the fact that he isn't on screen, but he's still affecting the characters, I think that shows you... That's a testament to what kind of villain he is. And I don't think that we've seen the last of him. All right, let's go oh, left. we definitely haven't. All right, that's, that's best villain. Let's go to this uh, best hero. Oh, come on. I we better see my rag on here, my boy. I better see... Nanachi? What is Nanachi? Well... You know what? I actually don't hate that. I actually don't, don't hate either. that. I don't hate it either. Also, I really like how these watch are color -coded. Ew! <laughs> she says a hero? <laughs> what does she do heroic in that series? What has she done that has been heroic? Like, Nanachi saved Reg's life, saved... Um, so, uh, Rico's tried, life. Tried to say Mitty. Like, yeah, I, why is she saying here? <laughs> that is horrible. I'd put her in the best girl category, but not, not hero. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna, I, I got, you already This might know. as well be, be best protagonist, but. You already know who this award's I, going to. I know who it's going to. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But you know what? It's going to. I think Deku deserves it out of everyone. In I, I haven't seen Little Witch Academia. Uh, I guess it's pretty pretty great. But you know what? I agree. I think I think out of all of these, I, mean, I think Deku is is the most hero like, and not just because yeah. of his his series. Like, of the, of, yeah, of, of the actual theme of the series, I think he's just he embodies that the most. Like, yeah, the most he, he embodies a shonen kind of character. Yeah. All right, let's go to this next one. Nanachi was a surprise there, not gonna lie. Oh, you know where I'm what? going on this next one. Slice of life? Yep. I know where, I, I think I know what's going to win this, but I know where I'm voting. Oh man, it's it's taking forever to load for me. Name, name some of them so I can- All right, of... so we got, we got recovery of an MMO junkie. Oh, that's what Nick's. Oh, sorry. That you. Whatever. <laughs> Name, nameless person that shall not be named. 
<laughs> I love that Nick has just become a meme, <laughs> even in the videos. <laughs> um, we've got Girls Last Tour. Ooh, yeah, that's, a, could, that's, that's a strong contender. That, that's probably winning, is what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. We've got Kimono Friends, which I could also see winning, just because of its insane popularity. Yep. Uh, we've got Soccer Quest, which I heard great things about. I could, well, I don't know if that's winning, but it's a good nomination. Uh, yeah. We've got interviews with Monster Girls. I let's not. I haven't even heard of that. <laughs> and then the one that I'm voting for, we're going. Uh, we got this Skigakure greatness. Skigakure. I I didn't watch Skigakure. I've heard amazing things about it. I wouldn't be surprised if MMO Junkie jumps in there too, because that show could, picked yeah, up could, some steam. I could see that as well. That's that's also nameless person Nick really liked that. So. Well, I know what I really like about this. I like that they're nominating more than five. I remember they limited to five last year. Yeah. <sighs> all right. So do you I, for I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go Ski Gakkade too. I think he deserves it the most out of all of these. Yeah. I'm surprised um, Kino's Journey isn't in here. I, I don't know. If Ki- Kino's a slice of life. Maybe a tad, but not not to that degree. Plus, people hate right, that uh, Let's go left. Yeah. Ooh, best. Score. Oh, baby! And you already know where I'm building, but really happy to see Hoski here. Really happy. Hoski. I mean, you know, Maiden Abyss is winning this. Maiden Abyss absolutely should win this, <laughs> but I'm glad to see that Hoski got got there's a nomination. Some, there's some good. There's some good stuff. Like Aka, I know, has an incredible soundtrack. I could actually see Aka winning this. Megas, Megas has uh, a decent decent OST. Megas has a good OST, but it's not used very well. Yeah, it's it's not utilized to to its extent. Um, I, I think I'm gonna get out of all of these. I think I have to give it to Abyss. Easy made like, it. Like Abyss just has a very wide range of, of tracks. There's stuff like melancholy, stuff of dread, like that, that Kevin Pankin man. He's a lord. Yeah. But I, I yeah, I like I, I said, I am really happy to see that Hoski got nominated. Um, all right, so let's go left. All right, hang on one second. My kind of like froze a little bit. Where are we at? We're at uh, best ending. Oh, this is this is gonna be interesting. Oh, best ending song. Okay, best, I yeah, yeah, best yeah. No, ending no, no, of an anime. No, 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 no. Best ND. <laughs> um, oh, ooh, I I really like that that um. Uh, Dragon Friends or whatever it's called. Dragon Tales. I really like that. <laughs> Dragon <laughs> Tales. Because <laughs> um, that has a really good ED. Ooh, that Hoseki ED. That Hoseki ED I think ED I'm going is, that. I love it. Pretty, pretty flames. It's between uh, Maid Dragon and Hoseki for me. I, I don't know where but I would go. I have a snub in here. There's a snub. Oh. Inishiki's ED that, is pretty good. In, yeah. That's my that's is my that snub. We, yeah. Inushiki is one of the best EDs of, of last year, in my opinion. That oh yeah, EDs, we haven't been talking animation. about snubs. I've been I've been pretty happy with the the nominations. So I've been far. okay so far, but like Inushiki is one where I'm like, what is? Well, that was like clearly one of the better, and unless somebody I haven't seen. Yeah, Marshmans I haven't and, like, I Lion. I haven't seen some of these EDs, so I I can't speak on like if if something deserves. If to those be are in. clearly better than, than yeah, Inushiki, ex- yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, Inushiki's ED was definitely great. I would also, I don't know, again, I don't know how good these are, but Maiden Abyss's ED was uh, really good, too. I, I really like Maiden Abyss. Right, so, let's go best opening. Best opening. Oh, man. I better see Inushiki in here for this. That is a sn- uh, I mean, it, it, what? It's not there. <laughs> that is a snub if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh man, luckily I didn't like that series, otherwise I would be really upset. <laughs> what is Ancient Magus' Bride doing here? <laughs> oh. Wait, is that the second opening? <laughs> no way. <laughs> that premiered this year, so that would be unfair. What no in way. the world is Magus Bride doing there? Magus Bride is recycled animation. The, the, that's People will say, no, that's the second opening. They spoiled the entire first core in that first opening. There's they show no half excuse. the show. In the, <laughs> that's terrible. That's, a whole, that's actually a bad opening. I mean, the song's good. But the like, song is great. But yeah. Oh, man. People, this is, this, this is, is going to get so much a, hate. <laughs> this video a, is going to get so much hate. It's going to be an Attack on Titan, Peace Sign, and Akka race. God, that my hero opening isn't that good. Get over but it. But the popularity, I, I really like the opening, but I get what you mean. I, I think that. God, I mean, man, Bones delivers that, on the animation. The song just isn't 
that that song isn't fire. I'm sorry. I think I think give me hate. Give, this... give me the hate. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that Akko opening. I will though. comment on the video myself. <laughs> I think Akko's winning this. I don't think it's winning, but Akko opening is is good in here. Um, we saw but so many good me, openings last. I were voting right now. On? Yeah, I don't know. This is one where I would have I would have accepted like ten openings in here. Yeah. Uh, for me, the one that's winning this is Attack on Titan. That's just, like, incredible opening. Love that opening. I, a lot, I would agree, but a lot of people are going to be like, meh, Gurren no Yumi is better. <laughs> it's like, yeah. okay. Well, I, feel, I feel like that too, yeah. I don't think what it's going to other sides of the wall? I'm actually... Oh, it's Princess Principle? <laughs> yeah. That, that oh, I didn't even realize fire. that. That's a fire opening. I'm glad that but, made it in there. But again, it's so tricky. Like, are we voting for song or are we voting for, um, like, just the animation with the song? Because the Princess regardless Principle of that, opening, the animation regardless isn't of that, that great. Inuyoshiki beats half of these, at least. Yeah. No, I would... Uh, Inuyoshiki not being in here is a major snub. In fact, like, I would I say... The, Prince, I would say... I'm my hero... I, Magus, what maybe the, up against that Akka and Attack on Titan, I would put Inuyoshiki. Want to know another snub that isn't in here? Where what? is that Kobayashi? Where is that Kobayashi opening? Yeah, that was a flame. That was a, a really good opening. That's one of my opening. favorite openings from last year. I don't know, man. Not um, liking I'm, that. I'm, uh, yeah, this is the first disappointment category, IMO. But not much I can do about it. Uh, out of these, I would probably b pick between... You know what? I think I would go for Attack on Titan. It was just like... It's just that really pumped up hype opening. Just like really... in the animation's good. The if, Princess good like... if Princess Principles animation was better, I would go for that. But like Attack on Titan just had both. It, it, it was such a yeah, good Yeah. It is the best of both worlds. All right. Let's go to this next one. Ooh. Ooh best, best manga. manga. I know Promise Neverland Ooh. That Golden Kamui is in here. Where is Promise Neverland? Why not? My oh, wait, that, wait, that wasn't in 2017. Lovelace. Dude, people love this golden Kamui. Ka 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 I don't know. People love that. I, have, I haven't I have heard of a lot of these. I gotta give it to golden Kamui, honestly, because I, I legit don't know any of these other I don't, I don't know any of these. Um, I've like heard the, of In This Corner of the World. That's the only other one I've heard of. Well, that's the movie. Oh, well, I guess I could vote for it. Like, it feels cheap because like I loved the movie. I haven't read the manga, so I don't I don't know. But yeah, that's absolutely. I'm going Golden Kamui just to hype up the anime coming out later this year. <laughs> let's just hype up that that anime. All right, let's go to this next one. Best film. Here we go. This is where things are going to get deadly. <laughs> In this corner of the world, just has the biggest picture. <laughs> is that, just, that, is that seems a little bit shadowing. That seems a little bit <laughs> biased, just a tad. I think that's them foreshadowing the 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 winner. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you already know where I'm going with this, but. You haven't, you haven't seen any of these, I don't think, have you? Uh, no. Are you going a Silent Voice? Yeah, I'm going a Silent Voice. Although, uh, uh, In This Corner of the World is so good. Uh, but it's not better I think than it, Silent Voice. I think it's between uh, Your Name and Silent Voice. Yeah, I do too. I think Your Name could take that's... it, but I hope a Silent Voice takes it. Uh, I would not be disappointed that Cool, This Fate. All right. So that category's category. all right. Oh, we're entering the good oh, stuff now. Oh, shit. <laughs> we're entering the good stuff now. This is going to be a... Um, this is this is a... Oh, my God. Who did I say my best girl was last year? You said... Um, uh, Phospholite. Oh, yeah. Phos yeah, exactly. So I didn't expect... I didn't expect Crunchyroll to put put foes or diamond or anybody in this category all right, well mine's not loading so so tell me the the noms all right so we got we got akko from little witch academia we got uh that, ochiko from my hero we've got uh this moriko from mmo junkie we've got serval from kimono friends we've got this suyu from my hero and we have this chise from magus yeah God, can you make Chise, can you make Chise look on... any more depressed in these pictures? Yeah, she just looks like such a boring character. Like she, she's not that bad. <laughs> like just use a better picture of her. Um, so um, why no? I don't. What I don't like, I don't like the... Suyu being here. Suyu is like hardly her. a character. She gets almost no screen time in season two. What are, what are we doing here, man? But she does have her own filler episode. Yep, her her own 
four out of ten filler episode. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta um, love that. Who, who, where would you go here? I, I gotta go Ochiko. I mean, she's like the cutest, best girl there is in here. <sighs> it's Although hard. Ako, I love Ako. Ako. I love Ako. I think Ako's gonna win this one. I don't think so. I think Ochiko will easily win this category. But like, for me... Akko is the main character of that series. Yeah. See, like, again, it's I mean. one of those like, things where Ochiko, driving... Ochiko had a really nice moment, but then she's just gone. She's not in the series. Yeah. So I think Atsuko wins this because she's she's really pretty. She's like a cute anime girl like you'd expect from, from the best girl. She's just a really likable kid. Like, I would vote for yeah. Akko. I would and she's the Rico. she's the main driving force of the series. Like she's got to be, got to be best girl. Hope yeah. I I wouldn't be surprised if Sue you won. Honestly, though, judging by the fan base for that character. Oh yeah, you. That's the only reason why she's nominated here. That disgusting rule thirty nine art or whatever. <laughs> it's just the memes and shit. All right, let's let's continue on. Oh, here we go. Right. Here we. Oh my God, no! I'm not scoring down anymore. If Reg isn't on here, if Reg <laughs> is not on here, I'm done. I'm not. I'm not looking at anymore. I better. I'm almost down the entire page. There's probably only one nomination left. I better see Reg. Oh no, Matt. <laughs> I'm oh, done. Oh no. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> this video's over. <laughs> This video is over. That is uh, that's a snub to me. What that's are you doing, Crunchyroll? What are you thinking? Where? Yeah. Is Reg? This is this is yeah. This is interesting. I I I, would I don't not care put, about this category uh, anymore. I really don't. I mean, Deck is winning this. <sighs> Fucking hell. Why is Man. Fafnir here over Reg? Really? Yeah, I would not play play him there. He's a side character, and he gets it like he's a cool character, but really, really. Yeah, even that Rakugo trash in here too. I just I don't get it. <laughs> well, I'm sure the Rakugo guy's a like I can't speak on him. I'm sure he's a good character, but Fafnir, really. I think this just is, because this it's is on a... Crunchyroll. It's all all of these are Crunchyroll. They explicitly kept out, right? Yeah, I think this is a Todoroki Deku race right here. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe that that uh, March comes in like let Ray Kiriyama. He can possibly pop I, in there. It's going to Todoroki. I'm I'm gonna guess. <clears throat> that would be my guess here. All right, I, let's yeah. get off this trash. I don't want to be on here any longer. <clears throat> let's go to this next one. I, w I wish my for some reason this site is just running really slow for me <laughs> yeah it's, it was overloading earlier luckily it's been running smoothly now for me but did I'm, I'm glad i'm not the one recording this because this would be a disaster <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just like... yeah all right we're going to the best drama best drama not seeing hoski here i'm not right, seeing well, hoski name, 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 name the noms what's going on i'm getting rakugo I'm getting yeah, March comes in like a lion. I'm getting Maiden Abyss, Ancient Magus, Scum's Wish, and Akka. Glad Scum's Wish made it in there. Because that's the yeah. most drama filled series out of all of these, I think. <laughs> almost to a fault. <laughs> but... oh, yeah, almost to a fault. That's a bleak. Man, I, I couldn't get through it's the just show. so depressing. Yeah, like I literally I couldn't <laughs> get through episode three. I was like, this is breaking my heart. Like, I, this is hard to watch. Yeah. Um, but I mean that's a that's a I mean if you if you're into that kind of stuff. No, Hoski on here is really turning me off. I think either Maiden Abyss Maiden Abyss doesn't really strike me as a drama though. Yeah, it kind of is later, but <clears throat> like I wouldn't I wouldn't use that as a as a way to describe I, the show. Yeah, me either. I think I think March comes in like a lion is. It's between Rakugo and March comes in like a lion. Yeah. Those are the so two too. that I've, I've heard the most good things about, and I, I see those two sweeping sweeping some some of these stuff. So, yeah. All right, let's go on to the next one. Ooh, best continue. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Super is taking this. There's no competition here. 
<laughs> Wait, we called this, right? I'm pretty sure yeah, we called Super, it. Super is literally shutting down Crunchyroll because of its popularity. Like, Crunchyroll literally cannot handle the amount of steam this show is picking up without a yeah. doubt. Yeah. Not seeing One Piece in here is a little weird to me. Just because people hate the One Piece anime. Eh, eh, whatever. Um, did Naruto Shippuden, did, was that airing this year? Or are they, are they like, so a Boruto thing? No, you say Boruto if that if that was Boruto. Shippuden has not aired an episode this year, I don't think. Did it end this year? No. I, I, Comment down below. I, I'm curious. Did that end? I thought it ended last year, like around like October or something. That's weird. Or like you're 2016. You're going to sound like a fool when you get And I'm corrected. a Naruto fan too. Yeah, I definitely sound like a fool. <laughs> uh, but super, uh, no this. There's um, no. Maybe. Iron Blooded Orphans. I don't know. Iron Blooded Orphans didn't get that. I mean, it is popular, but it's not on that that popular level. I would say out of the ones that deserve this, out of the ones that deserve this, I would probably say March comes in like a lion, and Dragon Ball Super, just because Dragon Ball Super seems to have like really stepped up its game last year. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Without a doubt. And like, just I just the Sakuga is just great. Oh, it's fantastic. It's just great to look at. That's why One Piece isn't here because Toy just is investing everything into Super. Yeah. So, yeah, I could I think it's between Super and right, March. Let's, let's get real. It's just Super. March yeah. March is a good series. I don't think it's going to get that. Like, it just doesn't wide. have that popularity. Like people that don't even like anime are watching Super. So, yeah, yeah exactly. Super's Super's taking that. Let's go on the next one. Best comedy. Uh, I think this is a Kobayashi without a doubt. This I think. is definitely a Kobayashi. <laughs> I don't see. Oh, there's Nick's uh, favorite series, Gamers. 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 <laughs> Make sure to link in this video. <laughs> just, <laughs> just... <laughs> you had, Nick had a little cameo. Uh, I could see Osamatsu also possibly getting in there. Uh, I could too, but it's not that or even Little Witch Academia. I could see Konosuba also taking this. I think, I think I... it's between Kobayashi and Konosuba. Yeah, that sounds about right. Little Wish, it, it, it has comedic moments, but its I wouldn't really call it an outright comedy. That's, a, that's an action adventure if, yeah. if I had to uh, give it a genre. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think, yeah, I, this I, is I, definitely I, between Konosuba yeah. and Kobayashi. I, I would vote yeah, for Kobayashi. It's like just the most strong comedy of, of last year, I think. Uh, Yeah, I'm trying to think of the... I can't think of any snubs for this. Yeah. I'm trying to like think of them when they come to my mind. Let's go on to the next one. Is this even a competition? Uh, no. Why is Inushiki here? Please get this trash out, out of here, please. <laughs> okay, but first, I mean, it's a series that it's... There's not many series where it's, like, almost CGI throughout the entire show, so I think that's why it's here. That's still a, a, a feat on itself, is animating almost a, at least three quarters of the show in CG is still impressive, even if it doesn't look outstanding. Uh, but there's no... <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> Uh, Land of the Lush. I mean, that's another. I mean, I don't even think there's that many series that, that utilize CG that much. Kato, Kato had CG, except it just wasn't good. It wasn't Attack great. Attack on Titan CG wasn't. I mean, I, I liked what they. Oh, no. Let's not. I didn't hate it. We don't. This isn't even a discussion. Hosuke, no, let's move on. <laughs> yeah. Was, not best CG of all time, I would argue. It, <laughs> like, easily. Ooh. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Crunchy, Crunchy, you're all right in my book again. Um, this is between my hero and and land uh, and uh, sorry, I, my hero and yeah, land of the lost trace. I've mentioned this before. What are you doing, nominating a movie in this category? Get that out of here. That's not even fair. That's not fair at all. That's kind of that's kind of stupid. But like, I think yeah. that that's that plays into the best film category. Is like which one has the best animation of those films? Yeah, I think like that's, seriously, that's you're putting a movie factor. in here next to these these series like come on now yeah that's a little strange but um, i think i think land of the lustrous deserves to take this <laughs> and they i've did. seen a silent voice and i would still say that lustrous has the better animation hell i would say my hero has a better animation than silent voice yeah i mean silent but, voice has great animation but it's it's really subtle it's like it's not like in your face or anything yeah my hero has great animation but it, it's not like every episode of land of the lustrous man like I know Every that Lustrous, I was, I was really hoping, because if that Silent Voice wasn't there, I feel like Lustrous might have a chance. Well, all right, maybe not, but... Not think... seeing, um... Uh, what's the series? Um, Blockade Battlefront and Beyond or whatever. Not oh, yeah. seeing that here is, is kind of strange. Kind of strange, yeah. There was, like, 
maybe three they, cuts in the last like five episodes that just looked incredible. So maybe, maybe that's because they didn't want to nominate two Bone series. Um, maybe. See, the thing is, if My Hero was just the first half, I would absolutely, I would probably maybe give it to my. It would be closer. But for yeah. me, Lustrous is just overall more consistent. That's what I'm saying. Hero. Like it's it Lustrous. Like it's, every it's single animation. episode, it was just, yeah. My hero, it's like little moments, and the moments are great, but there's just moments that are scattered throughout the series. Yeah, exactly. Um, and little, I could see Little Witch Academia popping up in there too. Dude, the animation man. wasn't that great in Little Witch. Let's get real. There's little parts of that see that broomstick stuff. Like they want, the they shot. want, they want that trigger in there because they know tri- triggers that hot stuff. But yeah, I like there was great animation in there. I just, I don't think it's like best of the year caliber. And March, March, is that like, does that look great? Oh, yeah. I didn't think it was like on that Sh- level. Sh- Shaft, Shaft delivered on that. See, when you're looking at this category, you're seeing basically the big name studios. You're seeing Bones, you're seeing Trigger, you're seeing Shaft, you're seeing Kyoto Animation. You're not gonna, you're not gonna see anybody like. Um, but see that orange in there. That's gotta be. That's 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 cool. I'm that's very cool right happy there. that that's nominated. Very yeah, that's happy. cool. I I was conf- I was. A I was little... worried. I was worried that, was that they made the best CG. CG. Yeah, I was worried that they made that CGI category just so they didn't have to give it best animation. But that also makes me worried that <clears> because it's in best CG, it ain't gonna win best animation oh, as well. No, no, no. If you think if you think Hoseki is winning this best animation category, you you're wrong. It's yeah. definitely not. I but think that is my vote. Big. That is my vote there. <clears throat> it's mine too, without a doubt. I think that is clearly the better animated series. Uh, best action. All right, let's go. You're going to be happy about that second one. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, look, this is what I'm talking about, Crunchy. Just nominate good like series that do what they do well. Yeah. And again, I'm giving this to Lustrous. Ah, I haven't been, I've been so... I gotta give it to Academia. I've been I, I, that blown away by action. Like, every single episode, it felt like there was, like, just this amazing action sequence in Hoski. Yeah. Well, that I episode mean, 10 stuff? That's better than anything ever. I would say everything in Academia combined. Maybe except for that, that Todoroki fight. Man, but I'm looking at Attack on Titan. Man, I was re-watching that episode. That 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 episode where they... <laughs> episode 6? Mm-hmm. Or no, episode Don't 7. Spoil. Don't spoil it. Uh, yeah, but the big showdown. You know, if, if yeah. people that watch it know what you're talking about. That was incredible. That was one of my... That is my favorite anime moment of 2016. It's your favorite? So, Jeez. I, I watched my reaction for it, man. Like, I was <laughs> losing my mind. Like, it was incredible. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I'm giving this to Husky. I'm good. I'm glad that Husky got nominated for this. I'm giving it to... to Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> the, the action in Attack on Titan was so like it was it was sporadic. That tower scene, man, when they're in the tower, those Titans are climbing up, and they, <laughs> oh my god, the set pieces! Like there were set pieces. I think it embodies action more than Hosuki. I think but, my hero embodies action more than Attack on Titan. Attack I think on it does Titan, too. Like, they, they were going for more psychological like stuff in that second uh, season. This is a tough one. It's between My Hero Land, Land of the Lustrous, and Attack on Titan. Mobile uh, Suit, the again, Iron Blood Attack- Orphans is not an action series. It There's like is. three, barely, man. That's a slow, slow series. Not a slow, slow series, but I mean, that's a... It's got a not- decent amount of action. Yeah. Fate Apocrypha, I could see popping up in there, we, too. We that saw a- that episode 22 greatness. Yeah, yeah. that's a, out- some outstanding action. and I, think I, I just don't know if that's like, if that quality holds up throughout the entire series. Yeah. <clears throat> To all you Fate fans, comment. Let us know because I'm curious if that could be a front runner. I, I, I don't know about know. all that. <laughs> and I mean, Blood Blockade Battlefront too. I've seen several cuts of some outstanding action. Yeah, these are all really good nominations. I, I'm voting for Lustrous. I know it's not going to win. I'm guessing My Hero is going to win this as well. <clears throat> I'm thinking it's either My Hero or Attack on Titan. Wonder what I hope because if this was completely fan vote like last year, my hero would be sweeping every single category it's in. Oh, without a doubt, without but a doubt. But I'm hoping that the judges, the judges like balance Tip that out. Scales, a yeah, bit. Yeah. I, I wish it was more than fifty fifty though. I wish the judges had like a seventy thirty split. Yeah. <clears throat> giving giving that much power to the audience still seems like a uh, not a good move. But anyways, let's just move on to this next category. The last category. Oh what? Oh we're not. <gasps> All right, I got my wish. I'm happy. I'm happy. This is a good, a really good category. This is a good, this is good. I like these. This is very, this is probably the best nominees out of all of them, I think. Very, very good. I like this. <clears throat> wish I, wish Skigakure was in here, but 
I can I can live with it. <laughs> mm. Uh man, I need to watch that Rokugo, man. That's that's almost in every single one of these categories. Yeah. I I'm giving this to Made in Abyss. Made in Abyss just took my took my soul away, man. <laughs> that series took my soul away. Like the characters, I just I fell in love with the world. I'm excited for season two. Like yeah. I just it was really good. Uh like I, I kind of want to give it to my hero but like again like my the, the later half of my hero kind of like lost steam for a little it, for it a bit lose steam <laughs> yeah i mean i i was still enjoying it and i was still review, having a good time reviewing it and talking about it and stuff but like it was clearly lesser quality than the first half oh yeah no doubt um yeah i'm, I'm giving it to made in abyss i i land of the lustrous is great but like i just didn't didn't connect to that series i didn't like feel that that weight and those characters as much as i did with made in abyss so I think it's sick. It's great that Land of the Lustrous is here. I'm though. just yeah. That's what I said. I'm just. <laughs> I was really worried that it would not be nominated. Yeah, uh, March comes in like a lion too. I know is <laughs> outstanding. Yeah, and it's good to see dramas in here with the bigger series, like the bigger, bigger named series and stuff like that. So, this is looking good to me. I'm happy with like really my only huge complaint. Where is that reg? How Where's is reg, reg not nominated? Play? And where is Inu Yoshiki for that best opening? Because that is my favorite opening of 20, 2017. 17. So yeah, that, that that those are my two. What two happened? Things. Couple little couple little things here and there. I honestly think it's I I don't know. I really don't know because in the best boy category, there were like two people that I could easily see out of there. Like they don't deserve to be in there. <laughs> Just no rag. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's one of my favorite characters of last year. He, he, dude, Main Abyss is my anime of the year. He's absolutely one of my favorite characters of last year. And th th there's not much they could have done about this because, like, they, I, I get it. But at the same time, I really would have liked a category to see foes nominated. Maybe best inanimate object or best, <laughs> best, like, best, best, best animated character. object. Best, best, yeah, best, uh, that should do that. Best genderless character. I feel like you should separate best hero from best protagonist. You think that should be too, I think, I think best hero should. Or just get rid of best hero and yeah, just best say hero, best be protagonist. Best, best main character. Yeah. Uh, because... and also a category that I am really disappointed that's not here. Uh, and it really, oh, really? just kind of. I think of... you were talking to me about this. Best, best voice actor. And best yeah, voice exactly. Actress. Yeah. That, where is that? Where is that? That that easily deserves to be here. Like I mean, there's there has been some outstanding voice work done in 2017 with all of these series. That Tomoyo it, Kurosawa greatness for that foes. I I would put her in there. I'd put the voice of, of Rico in here. I would put put uh, the voice of probably Deku in here. Like there's just been like, oh my the voice of um of um the main character from Attack on Titan. Aaron. Aaron Baker, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> definitely put that way. Like, it's just weird that that is not a category. It, it is, just kind of like it, it takes it away. Oh, wait, it's, it's not helping the industry out. Like, I want, I wish that the anime industry, the technical side of the industry, would get more light. Even like a best director kind of nomination would be cool, or like a best best animator. Like, actually giving like, I mean, obviously Nakamura would be best animator. Yeah, and I don't know if like you have to go that far, but best voice actor slash actress feels like something that needs to be in these that, awards next that, year. I would, I would, I would split it in best <clears throat> English dub and best Japanese dub too. I, I would Ooh. split it off. I think that'd be really, really cool to see like who gets in there and like, and plus if they're actually having this whole live event and they're handing out awards to people and stuff. I mean, I don't know if that's yeah, actually you're not handing out awards to these fictional characters. Like, I mean, yeah, exactly. But if you have voice actors, that's what I'm saying. You like, could. Like you could give JYB an award, and that would. <laughs> so I, I mean, I don't know. That's that's my one irksome thing. I hope that Crunchyroll changes in the future. That would be nice. But, uh, but yeah, I think that's, that's it. it. I think yeah. that's it. We covered all the nominations for the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. I believe that they're separating these out. So on the twenty second, um, one third of the voting will be available. Then on the 29th, another third, and then final whatever another week later, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I forget when the actual show is. Let me let me look that. It should be right there on the home yeah, page. It should be. If it's not here, I will be. I I won't even feel bad. <laughs> let me go to let me go to updates. Um, I'm not seeing it. About. Wait. It says voting begins. Yeah, February 24th. Here it is. It looks like voting has already began. It does. It's not. 
It says zero days, zero hours, zero minutes, zero voting, seconds. Voting begins <laughs> in four days. But uh, yeah, I think that's been all from us. Thank you guys so yeah. much for watching this. Uh, make sure, as always, to put what you think should be winning each category. I'm going to try oh, and yeah. timestamp this so that way you can skip around or whatever because yes, this is a long each. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that would be cool. Uh, yeah, make sure to comment down below. Give us your 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 predictions or what you want to see win. Uh, any snubs, anything that you think that should be on this list or shouldn't be on this list, let us know. Yep, yeah, let us know. Um, but yeah, I think that's all from us. Make sure to go check out Fomento's channel if you like anime content as well. And he does gaming content on top of that. Yeah. So currently reviewing, uh, Darling in the Franks or reacting and reviewing to Darling in the Franks got, um, trying to get a place further than the universe on my channel, but oh, I you're just a copycat off of yeah. my channel. No, wait, I reviewed that <laughs> oh, first. And... I got those videos up before you. What? What is that? And, trash? and, <laughs> yeah, but I told you about it. And, um, he also does Ancient Megas' Bride reviews as well. Yeah, so if you want to watch me complain about one of my least favorite series of last year, jump on. <laughs> okay, let's have to carry it away now. Yeah, let's just uh, carry it away. Jump on a board. Come join the party at Fumin Show. We're talking about all kinds of crazy things. Nintendo stuff, gaming-related stuff, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, all kinds of other things. So, yeah. Thanks yeah. for having me on, man. This is a fun video. I'm glad yeah, we did no, this. Yeah, I'm glad we did this you, as well. Yeah, I remember we were sad that we didn't do it last year. We were going through nominations. And we're like, we're like halfway through well, it's the nomination. Well, because neither of us were really, like, you were kind of making anime content, but I wasn't. And then, so it, it was perfect for this year. Yeah, I remember just scrolling through it. I'm like, we really should have did a video about this. Because we were, like, having good conversations back and forth and stuff. So, yeah. glad we got to do this year. Hopefully, this becomes, like, a tradition thing on our on our, on our our channels. And we oh, can yeah. talk about this kind of thing. Hopefully, it just improves next year. All yeah. right. Well, that's been all from us. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And, of course, as usual... Have a great day.